like. Here we are. You sure you want to carry this? <laughs> okay. Keep going. And we are. Hi guys, we, we are, are Nadia. Getting better and better. Yeah. How's everyone doing today? Tuesday night. Um, we have. <laughs> okay, since it's out of topic. <laughs> Tuesday night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today we have um, a kind of special edition mm -hmm. of our talk box episode seven. That's right. Today we're going to talk about our travel stories. And I'm sure a lot of people miss traveling outside of Malaysia and also interstate traveling is also kind of restricted. Yes. Yeah, with the cases rising at the moment. Yeah, so we thought that it would be nice to talk about our travel stories and if you have any in interesting stories uh, from your mm, past traveling or journey to share with us. We want to see. Oh, we, actually, we cannot see. We want to hear what you guys want to share any interesting or funny even scary story <laughs> i have one <laughs> yes do you want to open it up already or you want to show we do it later later when more people watching all right sure so well uh which country have you traveled and which country is your favorite one so far? my favorite country mm -hmm. um currently is the um, um japan japan is my favorite country. Yeah, you used to go there almost annually, right? Annually. Every year. Uh, three times in my lifetime. Wow, that's quite a lot. Yeah, mm. and I felt that it's a very good opportunity to explore a very, how to say, a very clean country. Mm -hmm. Which mm. city do you like the most? I'm sure you visited several cities before. Uh, Kyushu. Kyushu. Yeah. Okay. I like, um, how to say, I like countryside. Countryside. Compared to the city. Right. Mm. I'm sure you've been to Tokyo. Yes. Once. Once. Yeah. Right. Kyushu, Tokyo, where else? Kyushu, Tokyo. I think that's about it. <laughs> I've been to Tokyo twice, sorry, twice. Mm -hmm. And there's once in uh, Kyushu, Kumamoto. And I even had, in my lifetime, for the first time in forever, I had horse meat. <gasps> How is it? It, it should be quite uh, chewy. Yes. It mm. tastes a bit... It doesn't taste raw meat. Mm. It doesn't taste the rawness, but actually quite chewy, like you said. You mean raw meat, right? You said yes, but oh it doesn't taste raw. Then it tastes like um chewy thing, <laughs> <laughs> It tastes like chewy thing. I'm trying to imagine how it is like. Yeah. <laughs> oh have you gosh. tried before? No, I have meat? never. I have never, never. But in Korea, they does try. They does eat those live living octopus right they do they do uh they do eat live octopus and i don't like it i tried once when i was when i was young maybe like nine ten years old mm -hmm. and guess what happened the live octopus i mean it was already chopped into a few pieces like that mm -hmm. but one of them got stuck on my ceiling i got freaked out i didn't want to swallow that thing into my like you know throat and going to my stomach i Oh my just God. spit it up. What if it's stuck in your throat? Does it happen before? Like I think people do uh, 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 face those kind of issues when they have live octopus mm -hmm. swallowed. And that's why they instantly sort of like, I wouldn't say kill, but let octopus faint with soju. Octopus faint with soju. Yeah. So oh. just so, and then they will just faint and then glop and then it will just be swallowed. I see. So yeah. this is how they, or vinegar. Vinegar, I don't know if I don't know. I have uh, no idea. I never yeah. tried like leaving octopus before because I heard that it was suck. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> no. Well, it does. It does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's that. So other than Japan, I also know that you went to Australia. But before going to Australia, right? In Japan, I'm sure a lot of people also do love Japanese food. Mm -hmm. So can you share with us what are the Japanese food that you've tried other than the horse meat? Out of Japanese food, uh, mm. sashimi, normal one, mm. horse meat, yeah, the one, and nothing much. Ramen, oh, Ichiran ramen. I just posted a post today mm. to remind myself how nice Ichiran ramen is. Right. What, what is, is Ichiran ramen? 
Ichiran Ramen is a famous brand ramen shop、uh-huh. in Japan. They have a lot of branches everywhere. In Tokyo or Kyushu? Tokyo and Kyushu, every,、oh. uh, the whole Japan. Oh,、uh, I see. Yeah, so they have the taste. The soup tastes really. It's a pork soup actually.、Mm. Yeah, so it tastes really rich. And a lot of it's a must. It's a、mm, must. I think we should go for Japanese ramen here in Malaysia. <laughs>、mm. Yeah, I miss having Japanese ramen. It tastes quite different. Disappointed in Malaysia one. Really? <laughs> Sorry、yeah. to say that, but Malaysia、oh. one is a、mm, yeah. Right, I see. We should travel to Japan one day together and get the the ichi ramen. Ichi ramen. Yeah. Ichi ramen. Ichi ramen. ramen. Yeah, <laughs> I see. All right. How about you, Grace? You've been to Japan, right? I've been to Japan with my band. Oh, where, where, yeah. where? Yeah,、um, we went to Tokyo first, and、uh, also because there was this festival、uh-huh. called Haneda Anime Festival. Hmm, Haneda. Yeah, Haneda. So it was、um, the festival was held at Haneda International Airport,、mm-hmm. and、uh, we didn't really get to go out much because it was within the airport itself. But then after that, the following year, we made a trip to Japan again,、mm-hmm. and then we went to Tokyo. Oh. Then year after that, we went to Japan again with the same band. That we stretched our stays there, and also we managed to secure more gigs.、Mm-hmm. And Tokyo,、uh, Kyoto, Osaka. Ah,、oh, I forgot the name. Yeah, so few cities we hop around, and then we spent, I think. Nearly about two three weeks. Wow, that's quite that's quite a trip.、Like、yeah, long yeah. trip.、Mm, yeah, that's nice. And of course,、um, I love Japanese ramen too. On、um, me and my vocalist Lin, right? We were just walking around. After, I think we, that was one of our resting days. Yeah. Then we walked around and we got tired, and of course we we're a little bit hungry, so we want to look for food. And there was this corner house where old couple, Japanese old couple, selling、uh, Japanese ramen. It was very simple. We just walked in, and then of course、uh, the uncle, the、mm-hmm. old man, old man greeted us, say hi. I mean, of course in Japanese, <laughs> yeah. Then I had simple soy ramen dish, if I'm not mistaken. Simple soy ramen.、Mm, that's a very typical、mm, one. Yeah, a classic one. And it was very nice, and the portion was really huge. But I finished it.、That、This、one. is. Grace, <laughs> <laughs> now now you are not. She can finish a curry mi just now. The famous one, I bought I bought into the famous curry mi shop. Yeah, and I ordered a big one for her and for myself, and she can't finish. I couldn't finish because I had a big bowl.、Uh, yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> That's、I、reasonable have, because、uh, I don't have bowl. <laughs> yeah, she didn't have bowl. I had bowl before curry mi, <laughs> and I didn't even finish. So I'm sorry. <laughs>、oh. So, anyways, yeah. yeah. So that was one of the food、uh, experience that I really, really enjoy.、Mm-hmm. The other one is, oh,、uh, what do you call that? I forgot.、Uh, one of the fast foods in Japan, but you put a coin inside and you get the, the rice and dishes on top. The rice and dishes on top. <gasps> the rice and dishes. There is、top. a, there's a franchise here in Malaysia. I forgot what it is. It's a beef rice. I mean, you can choose. You can choose from the machine,、mm-hmm. and then it, the the order will be sent to the kitchen, and you can get the order. But you have to put coins inside. Ah, I never I never tried that. Oh, you never tried that. Yeah.、Uh, I think that's just um、uh, one of the quickest way to get your food around. Ah,、uh, I think my band got those、uh, food a lot because it's fast,、mm-hmm. and then it serves the. I mean, taste is also just right. Yeah. So yeah. So that was it.、Um, mm. Then after Japan, let me see. We also went to Korea. Korea is where I'm from originally. Yeah. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. <laughs> yeah. But when we went to Korea,、uh, we tried, of course, Korean food.、Uh, not only kimchi. Yeah. We 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 tried a different kinds of stew, a bit of a street food. And the tteokbokki, tteokbokki. Oh my god! And oden. Oh, the soup is delicious. Yeah, and we also tried barbecue. Yeah, so we did try a few authentic Korean food there. So we just talk about food so far. Yeah. <laughs> again, it's again about food. <laughs> <laughs> Automatically, this is our nature, I guess. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Why can't we talk about it other than that? Oh, going back to Japan. 
is I was really impressed with the transportation system. Bullet train, speed train, that was really, really convenient. And uh, when, you ha- when you purchase the card, you can go anywhere with the card. Mm, anywhere you want. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you just need to top it up, yes. It's like a touch and go. But there, it just it seems it's cooler. They have a different design as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was just convenient. And everyone, I won't say everyone, most of them use the uh, public transportation. Yeah. Very well. They use it very well. Yeah. Like, you just yeah. walk a bit and then there's a station there. Just walk a bit and then there's a mall mm. and a station nearby. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So, yeah, the public transportation is also good. Japanese people overall, they're very kind and polite. So, whenever you go, even though they don't speak English very well, they will try their best to be helpful to, to uh, foreigners and the tourists. And uh, they will show you the way how to go and the where to go and eat the food again, food and the where to go and buy stuff. Yeah. Oh, one of the the stories is you know before the whole Malaysia when it comes to fashion, before how we got famous mm-hmm. here, we 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 were just walking in Kyoto and there was this vintage shop. Mm-hmm. They had a major sale. So oh, major sale. Let's go and see. We went we went and saw like. This whole variety of Hauri, mm. and they were so beautiful. Oh my god, we each of us we purchased the one or two Hauris. What is Hauris? Hauri, you know, the, the jacket, Japanese jacket for for spring, spring, and Ho- also they wear during uh, winter. Okay, yeah, there's a thin version, there's a thick version as well. Yeah, so we got all that. It's like a Japanese jacket, but traditional jacket. Is it look? Like- does it look trendy? No. Yeah, yeah, it's very. No. It can be very trendy. Oh, so that howry. trendy okay. came to Malaysia, and a lot of people started wearing that. Yeah, so that was one of the things that we got from Japan, and we wore that for our shows as well. Mm. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. How about you, Japan? Let's just stay in Japan for a while, okay? okay. Let's not go anywhere. Hi everyone, welcome to our talk box. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about travel. Yeah. Today. Oh, my story. Yeah, what's your story? I met a handsome, handsome guy. In Japan? <laughs> yeah. What? It's a Japanese handsome guy. <laughs> yeah, I met a... It's like it's like an adventure trip for me because it's the first time I travel alone for mm. 10 days in Japan. Mm. And I doesn't plan anything. The you best plan is... Anything. Mm. No, I just... I just randomly booked the Airbnb. Mm. Booked the Airbnb for two places. So there's... One place is nearby the sea. Mm. And I got uh, I got to eat cheap seafood. Therefore, I got to eat cheap seafood, mm. and I found a beautiful cafe. Mm. It looks really it lo- it looks a bit vintage. I think you'll like it. Oh, really? Mm. It's like a oh, home wow. cafe like that. And the decoration is awesome, and they have a coconut milk tea. <gasps> and I don't coconut understand milk tea. why coconut milk tea in in Japan. It's supposed to be in Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm like, oh, it tastes really good. The coconut milk tea is that big, mm. and it tastes really good. Wow. Eight. How much is that? Do you remember roughly? Mm, 16. 16 ringgit for one. Oh, that's not too bad. It's like a getting a Starbucks coffee. Yes, yes. Right. And it's re- really worth it because they, it's just beside the sea, the cafe. Mm. Uh, the ambience is good. So I get to explore place that uh, people don't really, uh, travelers don't really go. Right. Because it's, it, it, people doesn't know it. It doesn't, it's not a recommended places. Mm. I just randomly bump in and I felt really happy and grateful it's it's like an adventure for me then what about the handsome guy <laughs> we haven't we haven't mentioned about the handsome <laughs> sorry yeah. i'm drinking too far it's about food again <laughs> so then i the next airbnb mm-hmm. it's nearby the fukuoka station mm-hmm. about 30 minutes so this guy come and pick me up why at the airport how come how do you know this guy even uh, from airbnb oh from airbnb yeah so oh, la, he's la. the tenant mm, tenant Ten- tenant mm. And he picked me up, he drove a BMW and picked me up. And I'm like, oh, and then he looked handsome. <laughs> he looked handsome because of the car or <laughs> no. he is handsome? He is handsome. Oh, okay. And he, his car is handsome too. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bonus. I forget about it. Yeah, so. And then when I went into his house, uh-huh. so we get to chat a bit. He'd he been to Malaysia. So we talk and talk and talk, and then I went to his house. His house is a traditional double-story Japanese house. It's from his family. 
ว้าวอย่าคู่ he make it Airbnb around uh-huh. four six room I met a Japanese guy there uh-huh. youngster they, they are quite young Korean lady Korean lady as well uh-huh. and German guy wow yeah a lot of people staying there and then and then I stay upstairs uh-huh. and the best part of this house is there's all the room there's no lock you cannot lock your room That's the best part. It's the first time ever I felt there's so no privacy. So it must privacy. be a sliding door. Uh, you can open, but mm. there's no lock. Oh, so I felt that's insecure. That's interesting. I felt insecure for the first night, but luckily the tenant, the, the handsome guy, uh, it's beside me. His room is just beside me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What do you think? <laughs> right. Yeah, and then and then carry on. <laughs> and then he uh-huh. got a girlfriend. That's it. <laughs> oh, so he was with girlfriend. Ah uh, yes, but then he went and pick you up. Oh okay, he's from the Airbnb. Okay, that makes mm. sense. Oh, so he was taken. Yeah. <laughs> but he's re- he's good looking and he's friendly. Mm. Yeah. How nice! Even better, right? Ah. Uh, ah uh, mm. yes. <laughs> I think friendly is the best part because uh, during the group trip, mm-hmm. uh, he will talk to me and chat. We can exchange some culture knowledge. Mm. Yeah. In Japanese or in. English. You can speak a bit of Japanese, right? A little bit. Right. He speak English. Oh, he spoke English. I yeah. see. So this is the yeah, Your Japanese handsome guy. Thing. Sorry, lah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's about it. He got a girlfriend. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So every time you went to Japan, you didn't use the same Airbnb. Uh, uh, uh <laughs> that's <laughs> the first time. The first means like like that. Like that. Uh, it's the first time I book Airbnb mm-hmm. because it's the first time I travel myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so for ten days, I been through quite a lot. I mm-hmm. miss buses. I even got some haunted story. Yeah, you gotta tell us about your haunted story. Uh, so. About Japanese ghost story. Yeah. Yeah, the first Which episode. I have never faced. Okay, that's a. Have I told you before? No. Once. Once. But you can always tell more. Okay, me and my friend went to the Cat Mountain mm-hmm. during our travel alone. Uh-huh. So we went for, for uh, to the Cat Mountain. It's a village, mm-hmm. it's a small village with uh, about twenty houses. Mm-hmm. All is old people. Oh, On, only old people. There's no youngsters, except five of us from Taiwan and two of my friends, including me. There's three girls and two boys, including me. Mm-hmm. So we went to the mountain, and then I climb up the stairs. Mm-hmm. A very quite high, a small mountain up there. There's a temple. A abandoned temple. Oh wow! And must be empty. Empty. It's small. During that time, it's four in the noon, four p.m. Mm-hmm. And quite the sunlight, but you can't see through what's inside, even though the window broken already. Oh. It's a traditional temple, lah. Oh. So I, I I try to check inside. I even recorded, but I don't feel good. Mm. I just went down. Mm. So two of my friends, mm-hmm. uh, A and B, mm-hmm. the A guy, um, went up alone. And come down. Mm. So I went. Uh, when he's up there, I bring the B guy mm. to go up together. That's together, uh-huh. go up, and that's the time the A guy come down, and we bump into each other. Mm. And then he just look at us like, "Why you are here?" I said, "Why not?" I said, "Hey, I thought you upstairs. I just saw you at the temple there." He saw the two of us at the temple there. Hey. I, I, he said, "I follow you all to go up to the temple. Why you both are here?" I said, "No, we was about to go up." Mm. And said, "Are you sure it's us?" I said, "Yeah, I follow you too." <gasps> to go up, and I, I'm like, "No, uh, the guy didn't been there. I just want to bring bring him to explode." And then uh, he's like, "Okay." After then, we went up, and I asked him what happened, and then he said, "I think I saw that thing." <laughs> <laughs> bro, and I'm like, bro, wow, hey. literally, bro, what the heck? So he thought that you and the B guy he us. went there yeah. before him, so yes. he just followed to the top. Then when he came down, he met you guys going up. I went there once before the A guy, and I don't felt it. I don't feel good already. I don't oh want to God. get closer, so I go down. Gosh! Second time I went up, and this happens. <gasps> and the guy actually sh- he has a spiritual body. Can I say some like like that spiritual body? Is it? What is what is it exactly? He can sense. He can see. Ah, uh, something like that. What do you say? Six sense. Uh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. And yeah, he bumped into wheat. 
Yeah. Oh, so he saw us going in, go in the temple, oh. like go back, go inside there. And I'm saying, mm. so there's another. The first time I went to Japan, I also. The second time I went to Japan, I also, gonna. Mm. It's my own experience this time. Yeah. So I sleep in the guest room uh-huh. in my friend house. Uh-huh. So there's a Doraemon, cardboard, <laughs> okay, place. And during midnight, the first mm-hmm. night, I mm-hmm. heard someone open the car box. box. Yeah, like the drawer. Uh-huh. Open and close. I heard the room is very small, it's just beside me. Open and close. And then I look at that. No one, nothing. And the third night, mm-hmm. it happens. Again? So, like zzz, tsk, No, it knock loudly until I wake up. It knock loudly, bang bang bang. It's not. It's like where someone is very angry, aggressive, and knock 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 knock, bang bang bang, until I wake up and then it stopped. And the best part is the next day, mm. I went to ask my friend. Mm. I said, "Hey, I heard some noise from the cupboard yesterday. Someone knocking, but no one is inside." He said, "Oh, really? When I was young, I heard that too." And I'm like, "Why, yo?" I'm like, "Okay, fine." <laughs> Yeah, this happens. It's my first time in my first experience ever. So I, after then, I don't watch ghost movie because oh my god, I never experienced this in my whole life. Because I know that I don't have a sensitive body until then. So for the whole week, I staying in my friend house. It's like I'm not sleeping. I'm sleeping, but I'm not sleeping. But because I'm too worried, maybe Just something. Get. Yeah. So my eye bag is like that when I go back to Malaysia. So my friend asked me, I thought you go and have fun and travel. What happened to your eye bag? <laughs> I'm like, oh, I encountered something I shouldn't, so it came like that. Oh my gosh. So when you heard, you shared the story, but on that night when you heard, what did you do? Oh, I'm too tired. Mm. I sleep. Oh, so you managed to sleep? I managed to sleep. I'm not scared at that time. After Mm. I thought about it, the next day, I'm having goosebumps. Yeah, but that time I'm like, I heard it and then okay, I'm so tired. Let me sleep and I just sleep. Oh my god, this is scary. Yeah? It's scary, but I think that thing understand because I pray. I said okay, I just stay here for a few days. Please don't disturb me anymore, and mm. it doesn't happen anymore. Mm. Mm. Oh, as if it listened. They, I think they know if you tell them. <gasps> so you do. Have a communication with them, conversation. No, <laughs> no. But ever since then, I tell you, I never ever want to go and watch those kind of videos or whatever. Because previous, oh. I like to watch. <laughs> Once I get it, I'm like, no, thank you, bye. Yeah, <laughs> so you yeah. don't, you don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. Well, I have never experienced until now. Don't. Okay, I, I don't want. But when it happens, I don't know. I don't know how I react. But when I travel. Uh, even in Japan, I've never experienced that, so I don't know how to. I mean, I cannot create stories. That's not my story. Did you have another ghost story then? Another That's the second one. That's the second one. The first, the first one, I, the first time I didn't encounter. Second time I encounter. Third time I also encounter. Uh, this no. day is the third one. No, no, I don't. I don't want to. I heard a lot of story from my friends. Mm. But it's not my own experience. Mm. Yeah. So that's it, like Two stories. That's it. That's it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. No Two more stories. than that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. So okay. this is my goo story. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Oh, Xiao Yu. Remember? Xiao Yu. Hello. Hi, I'm coming. Are talking about both love story. Oh, our love story, right? We should do one, one day. Yeah. <laughs> In this case, I will listen more carefully. <laughs> But the guy is taken, so I cannot tell. I cannot, you know. There's no ep- next episode. <laughs> it's not penthouse. It's not penthouse. <laughs> <laughs> it's not pen. John <laughs> Soji. Yeah, every okay. more. How can Chris go even go? I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, okay. talking about penthouse, it will be released. The third, third season will be released in June, right? Is yeah, it? June. Mm, I can't wait. Oh, so there's a tr- three people with us now. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, so we're going to share our travel story. So yeah. now it's Grace's turn. My turn. Which one do you want to know? Che. <laughs> che. <laughs> Have you been to Thailand? Though? I've been to Thailand for holidays. I never stayed there. Like, I didn't stay there for a living. So I may not have uh, much experience. 
Perhaps I can talk about Sri Lanka first because yeah, sure, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka, because that's the first country that I, I travel traveled outside of Korea. So I'm speaking a little bit awkwardly because I'm wearing braces. Can be can't be seen. Okay, you can't be seen, so it's okay. So, anyways, when I went to Sri Lanka, I was about 15 years old and. I didn't know how to expect what to expect from this country that it was just below India and when I went there I couldn't speak English at all at all really then how you communicate exactly so that's another Ooh. story so when I went to Sri Lanka I, d I didn't even I knew they speak English but I didn't know they could speak English that well <laughs> yeah of course they have their own language called Singhalese yeah, so northern part of Sri Lanka, they speak Tamil. But then Colombo, around that area, southern area, they do speak Sinhalese. And uh, what happened was, um, when I went there, because I couldn't speak English, I couldn't go to school straight away. Um, I had to take some English tuition classes. Then me and my brother managed to join normal classes in school. That's how we picked our English. And also we study, of course, hard because we wanted to make friends, local friends in Sri Lanka. So in fact, I do have more local friends than Korean friends in Sri Lanka as well as Malaysia here. But anyways, uh, apart from that, cultural wise, Sri Lankan culture is a little bit different from Indian culture. A lot of people think that maybe they are the same, mm -hmm. India and Sri Lanka, but they are not the same. In terms of food, taste wise, it's also different. Um, recipe wise is also different I still remember the curry puff was one of the best thing oh my god it was potato curry puff I still remember that's in here yes it was so delicious and it's food again <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> from language to food you see <laughs> I love curry so oh. when I was in Sri Lanka that, that it was my first time mm -hmm. to eat food with my hand oh really mm. oh they eat food with the hand yeah like Indian. yeah did they speak tamil so northern part they speak tamil where i stay which uh -huh. is the, around the the city mm -hmm. and also capital city they speak singhalese and singhalese yeah and that we they they do eat food by hand not all uh everyone but most of people and i just couldn't get used to eating food with the hand first like how do you even grab food you know how do you even bring the, the rice together and scoop it with your fingers and push it to your mouth that's a way mm -hmm. how so you will use your right hand most of the time but part oh. of my right hand so i'm going to use my left hand so th there are food on the table usually it's on the plate and then there is gravy and a few other soft food like maybe lettuce and a maybe mashed potato yeah then you mix that uh, uh, gravy mm -hmm. with the rice and everything. You bring them together. You bring them together like this, as if you're building a, a bowl out of this a rice. Bowl, bowl. Yeah. <laughs> then once it's formed certain shape, then you can scoop it, bring it on top of your fingertip like that, and then use your thumb to push the food into your ah. mouth. So I see. So it's not basically, it's not like. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a way to scoop and then to push. Ah, <laughs> you don't eat with your hand. I don't. So until now, I know how to enjoy food with my hand and I love it. Yeah, I love it so much. So that's one of the things I learned in Sri Lanka. And then since I learned how to eat food with my hand, I couldn't stop. So wherever and whenever I could eat food with my hand, I would use the opportunity to do so. Your hand has certain, um, I don't know, mixture of salt or whatever. It mixes with your food and it makes your food tastier. It's like a, your hand has MSG in it. Oh, I see. So there's another different kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's nice. Oh, oh, you should try. I will bring you one day banana leaf. <laughs> we try with our hand, okay? Yeah, we love banana leaf. Oh, yes, we love food. What is it we called in English, but in Singlish? Is it banana leaf? But I forgot. Actually, honestly, I forgot because it's been too long for me to remember. 
Mm. Only one thing that I remember from Sri Lanka is hello in Sinhalese is uh-huh. ayubuan. Oh, that's difficult. Ayubuan. Ayubuan. Oh, they do that also, right? Yeah. Ayubuan. Yeah. And of course, that's when I realize about the communication skills and also realize that each country will have a different communi- communication skill. So even Sri Lankans, right? Mm-hmm. When they agree to some certain thing, they will tilt their head like that. And of course, a lot of people would have to share this already that, oh, why, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, is that a no or yes? But it's actually a yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, that's correct. No, 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 <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes, it's like Indian. Yes, but they are not pure Indian, is it? No, they are. They are not Indians. They are not Indians. They're just a Ceylonese, but then after that, it was Ceylonese. developed to uh, to say in Sri Lankan. Yeah. So, anyways, so that's part of the culture and a cultural thing that I've learned. And the other one is their attire, their traditional attire. Like the traditional wear. Sarong. Oh, I oh, love sarong. it so much. I think it's beautiful clothing in Sri Lanka. Of course, that is very similar to Indians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, I wore sarong a few times. Mm-hmm. There is a way to fold. You know, the, the, the whole long stretch of the, the clothes. There is a way to fold it and then put it in your... I see. Yeah, nearby your belly and then to secure it. Beautiful. Yeah. Ah, okay. So and you should show your bit of your belly, top belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's another one that I experienced. If we get an opportunity and when the COVID situation is much better, then we should travel to Sri Lanka. I'll show you around if I remember where to go to, but I think I can. How many years you uh how many years you never been to Sri Lanka? Oh, I left Sri Lanka in 2008. 2008. So I lived Sri Lanka for seven years. So since 2008 until now, about 13 years I've never been. 13 years. Mm. Ah, wow, that's quite long. Mm. So you can still remember. I know a lot of things have changed there. Oh. Yeah. But I, when I ask my friends about this place, that place, they do still exist. It, mm-hmm. It's still there. But a lot of things have changed. La. And then one of the things I miss is getting tuk-tuk oh you call it tuk 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 is not thailand one tuk tuk it's also a very similar one but oh. then the shape and the size of them is also a little bit different ah tuk tuk we call it tuk 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 and then the, we pay in rupees rupees not ringgit <laughs> rupees sri lankan currency yeah so, so that's a, one of the stories lah yeah Quite cool. Different culture, yeah? Yeah. So you've been to many. How to say, uh, you have to adapt to, like, since you're young, you have to adapt different culture. Mm-hmm. Because you're, you're staying in that country. It's not like you travel. Mm. It's like you stay for, like, many years. Mm. Yeah. Then, in Sri Lanka, I went to Maldives. Maldives is also a beautiful island. Maldives. Wow. Maldives. Maldives. Yeah. Ooh. There are a few islands there. City is also beautiful, but you should go to... You should visit island that islands there. It's also beautiful there. Yeah. So that's story of my Sri Lanka. I finished my high school there. Then I came to Malaysia. But in between, we I also travel a bit here and there, lah. Yeah. And then back to you. Mm-hmm. You went to Australia. Yeah. I wanna go to Australia. <laughs> I have never been to Australia. I have friends in Australia, but I have never visited them so far. <laughs> Where your friends stay? They stay three different cities. One in Perth, oh, one in Perth. Sydney, one in uh, Adelaide. Adelaide. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that one? Adelaide. Is Adelaide. that the one? Yeah, yeah, so that. You got lots of friends uh, worldwide, international, <laughs> and in the same country but different state, which is very cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah, which, been, which city did you go to? I, I went to... Melbourne. Uh, oh, Melbourne. Oh, yeah. yeah, I have a friend in Melbourne. Che. See? <laughs> che. <laughs> yeah. It's a good experience. Yeah, mm. because I've never been to so far in my lifetime. I mean, I've never been to Australia. Mm. And I always want to, mm. always want to go to visit. And I've been there for three months, to play around. For and what? For work. Mm. Some work. So I work and then I play. Mm. And I love, I can still remember the uh, morning 
morning market. I love it. Mm. Why? Why do you love it so much? Their fruits, vegetables is so fresh, mm. and the color is so nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and they are. Their meat also, I, I kind of like it. A sausage, things that we doesn't have. Oh. And their latte is the best. <gasps> it's not cheap uh-huh. because it's times four, uh-huh. but it tastes really good. And you stay there for three months. Yeah, mm. for three months. Three months is which weather? Which season did you go to? Winter. <gasps> Winter there will be summer here. I mean, here is summer all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So it should be around like uh, December. Eh, no, 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 no. June, July, August. I've forgotten. I guess mm. I've forgotten. Because Australia, their Christmas is in summer. In summer. Yeah, oh, Australia. Ah, uh. can so I think it should be June, July, August for you. Mm. But that's nice. Yeah, you got to wear all the winter clothes. Winter clothes, and I get to see how they live. Their pace is not as fast as Japan. Mm. I guess. They are quite relaxed, mm-hmm. and I love their park because uh, during like lunchtime, there's office lady. Mm-hmm. They will bring their bento oh. and just eat at a park. Oh, mm. they're very chill. They're very Those chill. are the scenes that you will see in the movies. <laughs> it's just like the movies, oh. and the the how to say the the grass is very clean. There's no there's no worms. <laughs> there's no insects. Mm. You can just roll around. <laughs> Wow, so nice, yeah. yeah. Those kind of uh, environment, and then you get to, you can read your books, you can eat your food, and you can chit chat your and friends and sleep. Oh my god! Yeah, it's very clean and chilled, but but of course, I think I got I got cursed because I'm a Chinese. Is it? Yeah, I bump into a white lady, and then he just it happens that mm. there, some of them, not everyone, part of it, part of them are quite racist. They will mm. school you. Stupid age, <laughs> something like that. I experienced that. It doesn't feel good, but it's okay. Yeah. But it happens. And one thing about Melbourne that they have mm-hmm. a lot of homeless people. Oh really? On the street. Oh, they're all locals. All locals. Oh. A lot, a lot. And mm. basically, it's a very normal scenery for them lah, for the mm. local people to see. At first, I was I have culture shock mm-hmm. because I. At night, we're loitering, loitering around, mm-hmm. and there's a lot of homeless people mm. uh, walk around, and then they will school people. Yeah, sometimes we get scolded. Mm. <laughs> it's I say, it's not like I don't feel bad. I feel bad for them, yes. Mm. Just that it's something new. It's something mm. not that normal, but yeah, it happens. Mm. Mm. Okay, that's a, just a different experience. I think. <laughs> No, oh, yeah. Would you girls like foot massage, such as when tired suddenly think? Oh, okay. Oh, would you like? Do you like good? I love. I love massage. Yeah, Not in general, right? I love massage too. In Thailand, you can get a lot of massages at cheap, cheap price. price. <laughs> I know Thailand. Yes. Thailand food is. I love Thai food. Next time you should go for Thai food. Thai food, or we can go for banana leaf. Dim oh sum. God. Dim sum. <laughs> Dim sum, girl. <laughs> and then after after nice food, we need to back to diet again. <laughs> food first, okay. Careful. Once in a while, there's a cheat day. <laughs> Once in a while is every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because when you're happy, you eat. When you're sad, you eat. <laughs> when you're nervous, you eat. <laughs> Yeah lah, so that's the story of the uh, your Australian stories. Yes. Yeah. How are people in general? Did you make a lot of friends there? I, I guess few, mm-hmm. not the local one. Oh. Yeah, because of my working place is, uh, still a lot of Malaysian, Taiwan, China people. Oh, a lot of Asians there. I met I met Asians. Mm. Yeah, and how to say. I just love the feeling of like, at night you can walk alone beside the lake. Oh, I can just sit there and have safe, a cone of yeah? ice cream. Hmm? It's safe, yeah. Not too late. Oh, uh, it's it's safe, but you have to be careful also. Mm. Mm. Also nice, but it sounds very peaceful hearing your stories like that. Yeah, if you wanna go for a, a chill vacation, you should go to Australia. <gasps> Wow. I heard my friends say Perth even nice. Yeah, it's nicer. Like. I think it's a more village 
quieter. I think yeah. you will like you like city or countryside. I like you? countryside. Definitely yeah. she. Yeah. Beach. I love, yeah, I love uh countryside much better. Yeah, than city side. So I, what? Mm-hmm. So what's your next destination mm-hmm. if the border opens? Oh really? Um. What comes to mind? First? After 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 Korea, I mean, I want to go back to Korea to visit my parents. But other than that. I do want to go to France. That's so far. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. She mentioned that. I, yeah. I remember. France. I want to go to France. How do you say hello? Oh, hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. I don't remember you saying <laughs> <laughs> My name is. Ah. Uh, Je m'appelle. Oui. Oui. Je m'appelle Hui. Je m'appelle Hui. But they don't know how to, sp- how to pronounce H. So maybe they will pronounce your name is Jama Bell Way. Oh. Or Jama Bell Natalie. How about Jama Bell Grace? Jama Bell Grace. Grace. Oh, they have a certain yeah. accent. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, get away! Jama Bell Grace! <laughs> Come on, stop! Ah, stop on me! Edward! You can't wait to go to France. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to France. <laughs> what, what does it mean? So she's learning now, basically. She's learning language. Very basic. <laughs> to prepare to go to France. France. <laughs> Je voudrais go to France. <laughs> Je voudrais. It that means I want, I'd like to. I only learned that part. Oh. I don't know go to. I'm not so sure. Yeah. Hmm. Je voudrais jalan. <laughs> Je voudrais. Is it from ways? Come on. <laughs> Is it from ways? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So that's that. Uh, how about you? When border mm-hmm. opens, when everything's safe and better, where do you want to go? Japan! <laughs> but you've been to Japan so many times, still want to go to Japan. Yes. And which city? Oh, I, oh, I, I want to visit my, my friends mm. in Kyushu as well. Mm, Kyushu again. Mm. Maybe right. Osaka next one. Mm. They say Osaka is beautiful. Let's go together. Huh? Can. <laughs> then both of us will become like that when we come back. <laughs> like pow pow. <laughs> <laughs> Two pow is he? Yeah, we become a pow and second pow. <laughs> <laughs> like pow pow. Hi, we are pow pow. <laughs> Nabia becomes pow pow already. Pow pow sister. <laughs> <laughs> so if we want to make a uh, Nabia, how to say Nabia mascot? We mm. make two power. Yeah, bow, bow one, bow <laughs> two, two bow. <laughs> Actually, bow bow. It's a cosplayer, a beautiful cosplayer named Bow Bow. Oh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I never knew. Yeah. And she got a lot of fans in Malaysia. <laughs> Hi, bow bow fans. <laughs> bow. Yeah. We are different bow bow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Japan. Okay, interesting to know that you want to go back to Japan again, not a new country. Mm, I wish to go to uh, Perth and. Actually, I want to go to New Zealand. Mm, I want... The scenery is... They say the scenery is re- really beautiful. I want Sayanak Park in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you want to go to France. <laughs> France first, okay? Frank, France, okay, France. I need to save more money. Yeah, so this is our travel stories. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of interesting things, mm-hmm. interesting things happen in between. That's right. I mean, in between, I didn't really experience a lot, but I went to Thailand, I went to Laos, mm-hmm. a lot of uh, uh, Southeast Asian country, like Vietnam. Mm-hmm. I went there. Vietnam, I like Vietnamese food. Really? Mm-hmm. And I have a good friend. Uh, she's, now, she's not there in Vietnam anymore. She's in the USA. Mm-hmm. But then when she used to be there, mm-hmm. I went and visited her. And she she showed me around how, what to eat. Yeah. I see. It was nice. It Vietnam was food is spicy a bit. No, not really. not really. But you can find spicy food there. Uh, yeah. I like uh, the the there's a bucket and then there is a sandwich there. What do you call that? Ban mi. Oh bang bang mi. Bang mi. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh so and just said she wants to go to Switzerland. Ah, yes! Hi. I wanna go to Switzerland. Dubai is so expensive. France is it more expensive? I think Switzerland is more expensive. I see. But Switzerland is famous for chocolate. Okay. <laughs> France is famous for oh croissant. <laughs> <laughs> croissant. She got that accent. 
you want to continue your croissant story? <laughs> uh, when I go there, I'll have a lot of croissants and I will share with you guys, all right? By the way, Soin, why do you want to go to Switzerland? And you put like, Switzerland! With the two exclamation mark. Why is that? You can write it down and we'll read it out for you, yeah? But yeah, uh, what were you saying? Uh, what was it? Oh, about me. Oh, about me. Back to food. <laughs> Back to food. We got a lot of food. <laughs> yeah, you can get good, quite a good uh, banh mi here in Malaysia as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then soup is also good. Soup is good. Mm, in Vietnam. I like the spring roll. Mm, it's, it's also nice. really healthy. Yeah, it's also nice. It's like no matter how, ma- how many you eat, you won't gain weight. Uh, that will see lah. I mean, <laughs> really? You eat a lot, you will gain weight lah. <laughs> okay, become I'm sorry. Lah, again, pao pao. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, become pao. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Me, what happened to It's pretty chill there. In Switzerland. Switzerland. Have you been there, by the way? Yeah. She has been there. I don't know. Have Soyan. you been there, Soyan? Oh, what happened to Grace? Yeah. Okay, this is another story though. Yeah, you can tell. Okay, very quickly, okay? I met an accident a few years ago, like 2014, car accident. Mm-hmm. Then uh, we were on the way to uh, go for the competition, band competition. Mm-hmm. And then I was at the back seat with the instruments. I was hugging the instruments. Then all of us fell asleep mm-hmm. and we met an accident. We hit the divider. Then uh, that's when this injury happened. Yeah. So... Mm-hmm. Uh, Inflammation happened, nothing is broken, thankfully. But mm. whenever I practice a lot, I think it's the position on the, the keyboard or piano that the inflammation comes back. And this time it's a little bit longer than I thought. Yeah, and apparently the doctor told me that my joints here, they are not aligned very well. So he was correcting it, it was very painful. He cracked my bones a few times. Then acupuncture, dong, dong. So it's feeling better now, right? I think it's getting better, smoother. But I still do have a little bit of a sharp pain here. Because I still use my thumb, which I'm not supposed to. Maybe I should lock my thumb too. But you can't, right? You need a play. It's, yeah, but I don't really play play now. Yeah, which I need to get back to practice. So anyways, that's my story of this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Who said... Oh, Peter! Hi! Hi. Peter, welcome. How are you? Hi, hi, all. So we're just talking about sharing uh, on our travel stories. Mm. Yeah. And who else is here? Soyan also. Thanks for staying. Thank you. Yes. Soyan said, uh, oh my, spirit, spirit recovery. Uh-huh. It seems painful get well soon. Okay, will do. Thank you very much. Yeah, guys. So... Today we have talked a lot about it. stories, food stories, mm-hmm. Greece, hand injury stories, <laughs> handsome guy stories. A handsome guy, how do you want to hear about <laughs> handsome guy one more time? <laughs> oh, shy. <laughs> what do you say shy in Jap- uh, Korean? Ah, bukuromayo. Bukuromayo. Ah, bukuromayo. Ah, I think, I think um, I'm just talking in a very formal way. I'm sure there is a casual way, it's just that. I need to update myself, lah. Yeah. Oh, bukuro. Bukuro. Bukuro wa. Oh, buku buku. Okay. So, yeah, and ghost story as well. Yeah, yeah. I think we can continue this ghost story one day. The full episode all about hantu story. How about that? You have ghost story? <laughs> oh no. I mean, uh, um, I Your can f- share. I've never seen a ghost, but. I have a nightmare. Ah, maybe we can talk about nightmares and hantu stories. Hantu stories. <laughs> and we talk about this at night. Will creep me out if yeah. I'm alone. Maybe we can turn off all the lights like this. And only with a candle. Only with a candle. Ah. <gasps> Do you see us? <laughs> Do you see us? We can tell you some stories, a ghost stories. If you stick around, then you will hear what we have experienced. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it is not scary. Oh, it's two pao, no worries. One pao, two pao. 
Yeah, because we love food. So we are the Pao. Yeah, the Pao so sister. <laughs> People Pao Pao cosplayer with the Pao sister. Oh my god. We're Nabia and the Nabia becomes Pao Pao sister. <laughs> Pao Pao sister. Hello. We are the Pao Pao. <laughs> oh, this is a gesture. Isn't it? We are the Pao Pao. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. Pao Pao! Nabia, Pao Pao! Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> She's <Sorry>. excited. <laughs> She's um, excited today. Yeah. I think it's because he, she had the curry me. <laughs> yes, I've been craving for curry. Curry. And then you took me out for curry me. Law of attraction. Yes. Yes. And I, but I couldn't finish it. I need to be on diet. Me too. <laughs> but we just bought some bread. <laughs> Also, yeah. Na, 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 na. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So let's see. We're gonna read some comments. Let me see. Let me see. Do you want to go through that? Maubi, <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute, Soya. <laughs> oh my god! What the heck, Maubi? <laughs> you had a creepy story, right? Uh, yeah. God. So then you remember, yeah. Mm. I would like to know how does Hui can speak Japanese. Oh, from Xiaoyu, yeah. I uh, would like to know how does Hui can speak Japanese. It is because they are relative in Japan. Because I saw your post. Eh? Because I saw your post before the baby you hold. Oh wow! You remember Xiao Yu? Wow. Ah, so, oh, I want to share a story how I met my, uh, Kaima. You know, it's Kaima. Yes. Yeah, it's like something like a second mother. My yeah. second, my second family in Japan. Mm-hmm. I meet. I met them during I work as a part time in Malaysia Starbucks and I met them oh they start to teach me Japanese and both of them are actually um, very nice very kind people mm. so they become my kaima mm. and kai papa mm. so they invite me to Japan mm-hmm. they love they know that I love Japan I mm. keen to go for Japan mm-hmm. it's my dream so they brought me there and they let me stay in their home they bring me to, for nice food mm-hmm. and I'm really gr- grateful about it and they teach me some Japanese. Mm. Yeah, I can speak a little bit like Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Now it's Konbanwa. Because Konbanwa. It's, Konbanwa. Konbanwa. Like, Watashi wa namae wa. Watashi wa namae wa grace this. She knows uh, those basic basic. Yeah, Hajime Mesh Day. Ah, yeah. Mm. Some, some like that. La. So I communicate with them in English. <laughs> like Japanese, very hard. Very hard, some words. Yeah. Uh, the baby is actually my my Kaima daughter's son. Mm. Their baby there is super fat. I don't know why. It's all super fat. Mm. <laughs> it's always like the Michelin. Like a Michelin tire or Pao Pao. <laughs> <laughs> they all buy Pao Pao, Pao babies. <laughs> oh my god, Soyan, you're so funny. And now we are Pao Pia. <laughs> Better than Pao Pia. Oh, the <sighs> Pao Pia. There's a story also. Mm, really? You remember kind of course <laughs> Kenneth, it's your fault. If you watch this, it's your fault. <laughs> mm. Yeah, the baby very chubby. It's mm. cute that I remember. Yeah. Mm, I see. Oh, so that's the story of the baby and also how you learn Japanese. Mm, how I met them. Mm. I, I also want to speak Japanese a little bit, but oh, you pinch his face. <laughs> oh, so chubby. Mm. How old was he? During the time, one year old, few years back then. So now he should be? He should be five, six, or oh, seven, seven already. Do you think he'll remember you? No. No, I you don't You don't keep so. in touch? Because he just one years old when he met me. <laughs> <laughs> the bubble baby, yeah. Mm. Oh, she did Grace knew that. What What do you mean, about Bia? About Bia? Uh, Grace know about the Babia. About Bia, not really. <laughs> Baobia, I know. What's 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 bald bia? Uh, I, if I said it here, maybe it's not very nice. <laughs> bald bia. Oh, is it? It's some bald. No, uh-huh. because someone called us babia, mm. so he should be the bald bia. He. <laughs> you got it. Oh. No race is not watching. <laughs> She knows, yeah. No need lah, ah yeah. But I actually like uh Baobia. It's so cute. Baobia. <laughs> hey, we are Baobia. <laughs> we are Baobia. <laughs> 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 Stupid. 
stupid. <laughs> Ooh. Not, not now. Some um, yeah, I think you better tell her some other time. Not now, please. It's okay. <laughs> uh, story told already, boy. <laughs> Yeah, so we have our travel stories uh, from Sri Lanka to Malaysia and for you Japan to Australia. Yeah, yeah. And my one of my wish country to go to is France, and then she wants to go back to Japan. Japan. All right, and Soyan says Switzerland. All right, all of us we go everywhere after border is open and our COVID situation is better. After two years, <laughs> I guess. Then I'll be bao bao. <laughs> bao bia. <laughs> bao bia. <laughs> so today it's all about bao bao and bao bia. It's supposed to be travel stories. Yeah. yeah I, I love that. Hmm. So, like, have you ever met someone like super, super handsome? Weird. That's a good answer. Yes, you can. <laughs> super handsome. Oh, super weird. In overseas. Yeah. Some weird stories. Some Stories, mm. or something really grateful, some miracle that happened while we travel. No miracle happened in my travel, travel story so far. Uh, it's more like uh, handsome, handsome. So you can say weird or handsome or both. <laughs> Handsome, but handsome. handsome. <laughs> Which part of the Japan? Oh, she said Kyushu. Kyushu. Mm, she wants to go to Kyushu. Yeah. Um, I don't have that like much of an interest interesting stories with guys. Mm -hmm. mm, let me try to think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thinking, thinking. I don't think so. Okay. I think I was very good girl. Che. I. Uh, yeah, she is. She's a very good girl. See the fringe. Girls at fringe is a good girl. Oh no. <laughs> Example number one. <laughs> Example. <laughs> Example number? 100. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, romance. Ha 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 Lady Gaga. Oh, okay, okay. I think, you know what? We should talk about romance in our maybe next, next, <laughs> next, next episode. It means like forever episode or what? We have a next, next, next episode about romance. We have an episode about hantu stories, nightmare. And what else? we already talked about food. We can do mukbang again if you want. And uh, yeah. Mm. So romance not yet, is it? No, romance. Um, second person asked already for romance. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. might go get a pair of scissors. <laughs> Oh, why? <laughs> I'm gonna go get a pair of scissors. Yeah. She has a lot of topics to do. Yes, we have. Uh, but thanks for joining us. Yeah, so thank yeah, you. It's so nice to read your comments below. And yeah, it's a nice interaction. Even though our frequency, I mean, you, there's a little bit of a uh, delay after yeah. we talk. Yeah. But it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Thank you for the patience. Yeah. Staying with us. That's right. Mm. Cut my fringe lah. Yeah, she wants to cut her fringe. That's why she wants to get ready with scissors. You know why? You have fringe, you will look way more younger. Trust me. Yeah lah, you, you, you look already young and you wanna you look younger. Really? But after I cut my fringe, my face more bow lah. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. want to share mm -hmm. my travel stories, mm -hmm. which I didn't expect. Mm. The latest one, 2019, I went to Japan alone. Mm. And I didn't plan, as I said. Yeah, mm. I didn't bring any friend. I just bring me and my luggage. Mm. And when I reached the airport, mm. I don't know how. And, you know, miracle happened. What was that? So that I met two Malaysian guys in the bus. Mm -hmm. And actually, after a few days, we travel together. After a few days, they bring me here and there. We only found out we have mutual friends. Who is? Mutual friends, lah. Yeah, okay. mutual friends. And then? And actually, we, three of us, is in the ACGC. C. Wow. And they Small are world. photographer. They help me to take nice picture. <gasps> yeah, so I'm like, okay. That's a nice story. Yeah, it's unexpected. Mm. And I also, uh, the Airbnb tenant mm. also bring me 
to lunch. And she even treat me. Airbnb tenant, the handsome guy? Oh, no, oh, the, the one, is one. <laughs> the second Airbnb. The oh. first Airbnb, <gasps> and her name, uh, I've forgotten the name already, but she gave me this one. What is it? It's a Hawaii, oh. Hawaii Sylvania. Because she's going to marry to Hawaii. Hawaiian. So, Hawaiian. Oh. So she told me that next time you want to travel to Hawaiian, you just contact Hawaii. me. Hawaii, right. Yeah. <gasps> nice. So I got I got some like unexpected. So I, actually, I like this kind of feeling like you didn't plan. Yeah, it's not very encouraged, but you got unexpected gift. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. I think, oh, one of the stories I want to share before we wrap it up is... Uh, when I went to Japan in Tokyo, mm -hmm. there was this shop that they put all the things out. I think they wanted to clear their items. Clearance. Yeah. Then they put all the items for free. Ah, really? Yeah. Just pick and go? Yeah. <laughs> so I got one nice brown leather jacket. Wow. And then I have one leather vest. Whoa. And I have one doll. You're it's so like happy. a handmade doll. Wow. I have those with me still. So I had three free stuff from Japan. I didn't pay for them. Ha 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 ha. Everyone is going like, is it, is it crowded? Like people are going? No, they're so chill. <laughs> mm, that's they're culture. So chill. Yeah, they just go and look, look, look. But us, we're like, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did you know, right? Yeah, we went and then attacked the place. <laughs> with fast? Yeah. <laughs> A faro leave together. Yeah. Okay. But uh, it was so it was so um nice of them just to, you know, put out for free, take it. No, oh, it's so chill so we went there. You oh. guys are lucky. Mm. Yeah. For clearance. I never heard of heard about that. Yeah, because normally people will just sell with a so with sell with a cheap price. Mm -hmm. Free. Mm -hmm. Very lucky. Yeah, so that was nice. <laughs> <laughs> because it's free. <laughs> but those are good quality stuff. All the vintage stuff was there. Hmm. She loved Vintage stuff. <laughs> she loves shopping. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I need to learn from you, like a fashion sense. Mm -hmm. You got a good one. Really? Thank mm -hmm. you. I think uh, my one is pretty simple. <laughs> Sorry, my one is very. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. You've got your own style too. I'm still learning. Yeah. <laughs> We're all learning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyways, so that's it for our travel stories today. And we'll be back. We'll try to keep it consistent every two weeks. Every two weeks. Yeah, before we're like, okay, do this. And after maybe four weeks, come back. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try to make it more consistent and be able to talk to you guys more. Yes, with Baobia. Tonight is Baobia, only tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Baobia, Baobia. All right. <laughs> um, I'll see you guys. Yes, Stay thank safe. you. Thank Good you so night. much. For staying with us. I'll see you. Bye-bye.